Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day. I wanted to go over our brand new scene that we have for Redshift Lighting Essentials. And we've put out a few updates already, so we're up to scene 13 now. So 13 included studios. We've included Perfect Portrait, Jewelry Studio, and now we have Disco since our launch. So let's go ahead and talk about the Disco one really quick. You can see that there are a lot of different features you can play around with. So the first thing you'll notice is that we have a dome filled with lights. You can change all the different colors here. If you want to have, say, a, only a couple different colors, you can do that. This dome can actually be scaled up with our outer radius if you want to make this smaller or bigger. The material is the material that's on this studio, so the floor in the background. If you don't want the floor in the background, you can also turn those off by unchecking visible background and visible floor if you don't want those. Um, if you want to increase the amount of lights or decrease, you can do that here. Uh, there's two ways to animate it. First of all, you can do dome rotation. So if you animated this, you can have all the lights spinning around, which already is really, really nice. If you actually want the lights to flicker, to go on and off, we have a section for that under flickering. So I think that you have to twirl this down and enable it. And then we can go ahead and hit play. This is kind of them scaling up and then scaling down, and it gives the effect of kind of blinking on and off. So flickering, you can change the animation speed if you want it to go faster or slower. It's really handy to do this in the viewport because you can see everything in real time and see what it's gonna look like. And then also if you add dome rotation at the same time as you have the flickering going on, you're gonna get a really, really nice disco effect. And the last thing I wanted to show you was visible lights. So right now, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see kind of a faint uh, glow from the lights, but you're not gonna see the source. If you wanna actually see the lights you can check on visible lights and you'll be able to see those and that should do it for all the different features on the disco studio so you can hit the ground running i hope you guys find it useful if you're a redshift user make sure to check out redshift lighting essentials for cinema 40 and we have a different video showing all the other studios as well so make sure to check that out i hope that you guys find it useful and we'll talk to you next time bye